Hey guys, just want to make a video here um, about this 2008 Saturn View radiator replacement. Don't you hate it when they start the videos halfway through and they don't take you step by step from beginning? Sorry about that, but uh, I just thought of it now that I'd make this video. In preparation for this, I've watched a couple different videos and there's not a whole lot out there. Uh, I saw one guy, I think on a Captiva, he took the front bumper cover off like this and the bumper reinforcement. Um, I saw one guy that didn't take the cover off at all. Uh, one guy took the headlights out, the other guy didn't. I just went ahead. I wasn't in a rush. I pulled the headlights. I pulled the, uh, r the bumper support, which is laying over here. That wasn't too bad. Eight or nine bolts, I think. Pretty simple. Uh, a couple of wiring harness clips. Uh, the bu bumper cover wasn't too bad. Just uh, a bolt up in the cor each corner, a bunch along the bottom, and I think a few along the top here. That was pretty simple. Um, a couple videos I saw said that they could take the uh, condenser out without disconnecting it, connecting it. They were right. That's the way I did it here. It didn't like it at first. You got to take it slow, but if you carefully maneuver it and just twist it up. I put some pillows <clears throat> on the, uh, the engine here and rested it down there gently. That seems to be going okay so far. Um, while I was here, I noticed in preparation for the project, when I looked in there, I saw that my trans cooler lines were pretty moist. As you can see here, they are. Um, when I saw that, I said, well, now would be the time to go ahead and replace those, and I did. Um, I wanted to get the AC Delco, but they were like close to $100. The Dorman, what I have here, was a little bit cheaper and uh, seemed to go in fairly well. Uh, the connection is a 10 here. It was really easy to do. You have to uh, wiggle out the whole assembly. It's a little tight at first, but it'll come. I lost just a little bit of fluid. It wasn't a whole lot. Here's what I lost which isn't much at all, no big deal. Um, so what else? Oh yeah, I am going to go ahead and replace the radiator hoses. If you're gonna get this deep and place, replace a radiator, why don't you just go ahead and get new hoses? These are your original factory. Oops, I didn't mean to do that. Uh, and that one might be a little tricky uh, to get back in there, to get the clamp off. Here are my new hoses. I went ahead and ordered those on no, it wasn't Amazon. I think I got those at uh, Advance. Uh, De yeah, Deco. Um, well, there was something else I wanted to say. What was it? Oh, here's the radiator. I got a Denso. I've had pretty good luck with them. I think this is my third Denso radiator put in uh, three different cars. Uh, here's the part number. This is for an 08 Saturn View 2.4. Uh, I've had luck with those Denso radiators so far. Everything seemed to line up. Good quality, good packaging. I went to get it on Amazon. I normally get a lot of my stuff on Amazon, but they, they didn't have any of that, uh, that model, that part number. So I ended up going to Summit. They had one in stock, I thought, until I got to the cart, and they didn't. And then I got that through eBay. I forget the name of the company, but I think it was $173, which isn't too bad. I, I think they're a good radiator, maybe the best of the, the cheap radiators. But uh, uh, that I did leave the fan in place on the, the radiator. I wasn't sure if I was going to leave it in the car or bring it out with the, uh, the old radiator, but decided to leave it in. And that went fairly smooth. It was just a couple of clips here and a wiring harness clip here, Christmas tree clip that broke on me. Uh, but that was fairly easy. Um, and, oh, yeah, I wanted to mention this. This seems a little silly, I know. Uh, what I did was I laid out uh, some white paper on this table here, and I uh, labeled all my fasteners. It might be a little overboard. I bet if my buddies came in, they'd probably laugh at me. But <clears throat> I think it's going to... Uh, 
make things go back just a little bit easier instead of throwing everything like in a, in a dish or in a box or something. I just uh, went ahead and labeled headlight bolts, um, and the bottom of the lance, uh, what's that? Um, hood latch, uh, bumper reinforcement, uh, there's a condenser bolts. I don't know, just a little, uh, little tip that seems to help me. Um, but yeah, it's not too bad of a project. It's not something you want to do when you get home from work after a long day. If you plan ahead, plan to do it on day off, start early in the morning, take your time. Uh, it's really not that bad, but uh, I don't know, I wasn't looking forward to it. I did it again. I put the camera away and I wanted to tell you that if you want to see a pretty good video on how to take the bumper cover off as well as the uh, bumper reinforcement uh, that I have laying over there, uh, I saw a video. If you Google, uh, what was it? Radiator removal, <clears throat> uh, Chevy Captiva. I think the guy is a mobile mechanic and it was like a 13 or a 14. Uh, Captiva. He did a pretty good job of explaining how all this came apart. All right, now I'm done.